got a truck that's broke down in the middle of the road, uh, blocking the intersection or blocking the road somehow. And um, got the police officer there on scene, I guess, behind the guy. From what is claimed is he blew the turbo, I guess it started to run away on him. So uh, we will go and hook him up, call him on into the shop, and we will take it from there.
That's a bad question, actually. <laughs> I guess that is a bad yeah. question, right? So while you're kind of sitting out, I'm gonna go use my full porta potty. Oh sure, yeah, you always gotta do it, yeah. <laughs> I can sit out here if you need it. Quickly. Yeah, that's fine by me. Okay. locations we got a location out a couple right. locations out west right when I, i'm sure you probably know where rochelle's at oh yeah we get, we're out there and we do a lot of pd work for for the pds okay. out there yeah like i said because i know when i was on the patrol there's some, some uh, not so good people oh yeah 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 because they want to screw people oh of course you know, everybody uh, tries to get something you right know. he's telling me there's some points that was right here that we have a guy sit over here waiting for people to call in and go for 1500 bucks. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, illegal parking over here. Oh, uh, well, that, I mean, that unfortunately will come with with any type of headache. You do any type of private property towing, that's what you deal with is that type of headache. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a costly gamble, you know, so they, yeah. they really are only trying to make ends meet. And all that stuff's usually regulated by the state anyhow, like pricing and stuff. For private property towing, it's so that like people here, can't. Really try to screw you up here. You pull into their lot. Oh. Wendy's is what he said. He said if you pull a truck in there. Oh, you're done for. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they, they were telling me. Yep. Well, it's definitely so. There's. Well, and it's because a lot of the truckers nowadays, you know, they don't they don't really care too much. I they throw away yeah, garbage and it. big pee bottles yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Nobody wants to see that. Is this truck automatic or is it no, manual? It's a manual. Okay. I, like I said, I think it's a turbo. Okay. Just the way everything's ending up. I called my guy in Ames' 
real good mechanic. Yeah. He's been a he's a older guy who does a good business and he uh he's thinking he told me don't be turning it back on. Yeah, no, my my boss is like, hey, it runs. I said, nah. He said, hey, I. He said it started running away. I said, I'm not turning that on. Does have air then? Yeah. Okay. I just released it, so. And it doesn't leak. Uh, the only reason know. I'm asking is because we're just gonna, I'm just gonna hurry up and pull you off the road here. Right. And I'll drop the drive shaft and do everything I need to. Oh. So we're not blocking any more of the road, right. you know. No, it airs up. so he doesn't think I'm some idiot pulling over there real quick. I appreciate you sticking around. I'm just gonna, I don't wanna drop the drive shaft to do all that stuff right here since right. we're already blocking. So I'm just gonna pull up to the next light and then hang that left. Okay, I don't know. you're going to Remington? I don't, know, I don't know if that's too smart, huh? Well, it'd be all right. What if I, isn't there a big lot behind that shell right there? Yeah, I there's can take a big a... lot back there. Okay. You can't stay in there, though. there's no party in there. Oh, no, I'm literally just going to pull the drive that's shaft and just yeah. make it secure enough to Go where ahead. I can tow. We'll get you over there. Okay, right. cool. Thank you, sir.
you're okay, you're okay, you're a trucker, you do the same thing. <laughs> Okay, you're just gonna take us right over here to this lot where you can't park at. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll pull in there and disconnect all that, the drive shaft and all that stuff, and then we'll be able to tow you on the way there. Get you going in no time. Hopefully, you get that. I don't know how long it takes to get that turbo put on, but. Uh, I mean, what's it? Is it a Detroit that's in it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't be too bad. Right. Shouldn't take too long, anyhow. I just had to hook up my tag light. Oh, nice and easy too. This will be a nice one. Such. Is this open? Yeah, uh, no. Okay. I, got, I left my keys and everything in the truck. Okay. I'll get it. I just put all the parts inside there typically just so I don't ever forget them inside my truck. Put them in the cabinet. Oh, is this open? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Go 
works out. Just set it right here. That'll work. Just in case they move. Sweet. I'll remember they're in there for sure. And then, like I said, I'm going to have to run an airline to it. And then uh, I'm going to run a service line also to your trailer. Right. Even though you don't have much weight on there. I, right. I usually don't like to mess around too much with that stuff. Right. So you need that brake set? Which brake? Do you need me to... No, you could just leave all the brakes the way they sit right now. Okay. And the only reason I say that is because where, where I'm going to... Where do you hook into? What's that? Your rail. Uh, what I do is I'll pull a plug on the actual one of your air tanks. Oh. It's uh, usually the closest one to the engine that I'll pull, right. and then I'll run air to it because they all feed each other. Right. So then it will it will okay, continue where. Obviously, I was thinking about that. What's that? The compressor? No, right here. <laughs> oh no, yeah. I mean, I I'll run like my service line to your trailer so that I can use my brakes for your trailer oh, brakes okay. as well. But I'm I'm just not going to run the red one because I'm by me putting air to the tra to the tanks, it's it's supplying that air right, to it. Right. So. Yeah, yeah, so I shouldn't have to worry too much about that. winter to be honest yeah. I like I honestly I like I like the winter just a tad bit more oh. and the only reason that is I think it's because it keeps me that much more busy oh so I'm not I'm not doing too much sitting around right. I mean you're on call for 12 hours a day so you do any type of sitting around that 12 hour day becomes oh. real long right. oh you don't go back and work at your shop or anything uh, I mean I do if I if I absolutely have to but I mean we have mechanics that do most of the repairs right. So I mean, if this is something that I have to repair, then I'll repair it. Right. But most of the time, the, the other guys they'll they'll pick up pick it up. So, which is nice for me because then I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, making sure I'm available to do repairs plus doing towing and right. all that stuff. Kind of becomes when it's all mixed together, it kind of becomes combobbled, you know. And he actually just started doing paying people by salary. Before you would pay by commission, so then when you would do it by commission, it would become even harder then because right. of the simple fact that you got to always kind of, you know, keep up with what you're doing. Like, oh, well, I did this for repairs and I did this for towing, so it becomes a little bit of a headache. But we get it all, they get it all done pretty well. So, as I mean, as long as they can get the turbo today, which I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah, I mean that if you get a turbo in Des Moines, Iowa. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yeah, or even in Ames, it might be able to, you know. So in Chicago, uh huh. Uh, yeah, better be able to. Well, we have a there's a few there's a few uh, like interstate power systems and stuff. They do a lot with right Detroit. Yeah, that's so. the ones in Ankeny, Iowa, down by Des Moines. Yeah, us. uh huh. Yeah, I can.
We should be able to close all this up. Yep. Ready? There's Bambi. They ran right out in front of me. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm not kidding. I was down to 35 because I couldn't figure out. I thought they might be a rat. Uh-huh. That's just like, never saw the deer over here. It was kind of a rainy day. Yeah. So it got up underneath the truck, did a little damage then? No. Oh, no damage. No. I, it just, it just, I knocked him down. I had one of those, it was a, a classic and it had the big bumper. Oh, okay. You yeah. Know, it just, I just it knocked him. I was going 35. I hit it. He ran out and I knocked him down. Uh -huh. Actually, it was another one. I think I hit the other one too, but I knocked him down. I was only doing 35. Uh huh. Yeah, so, I just couldn't have done too much yeah. damage. <laughs> so I decided I would have some real close call see with this. Uh-huh. With these guys in here. Yeah, I've had them run out the distance maybe not through the middle of you where you have that run out the bottom. Uh-huh. Oh I'm doing like 55, 60 miles an hour. Boy, the load, you ain't stopping nowhere. Oh my gosh, I'm going. I don't want to hit a move with that because I don't have to knock out my fenders or you know, flip them around. Yeah, yeah. But, I've seen him get picked. I've seen him get, you know, sucked underneath and oh, then, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, tore, tore up pretty real good. Yeah. Yeah. Believe me, I understand. That's the other bumper I had had a trip bar. Uh huh. So it was supposed to keep them from going underneath yeah, there. Yes. With this one, I had to get this right away. So I, this one was kind of like it was in stock, so I had to get it for me right away. The other one I had custom built, kind of. That I worked with. It took eight weeks to get it, but. But you got it. Yeah, if I had it, I drove it, then I ended up buying this thing. Because so. <laughs> I wanted to beat the log. Just... Yeah. So, so that's so if a truck's old, old, the older. The engine. Oh, okay. The engine. The engine is the, the factor, not the body of it. Oh, okay. So I, yeah, it's bizarre. It's stupid. Yeah, that is a little weird. So, but yeah, because it's a '99 block, I get to run paper log right? That's cool. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't know that. I bet everybody's trying to switch to that. This truck, I called the guy. He said, I can get 10,000 more bucks out of it. Right oh, because it's, uh, yeah, cause, yeah, because people demand. are wanting to pay it. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Have to bungee that up and stuff. Uh, we should be. I'm gonna just release the, pre the air in my truck, make sure yours starts building.
Oh yeah. <laughs> I try to do that all the time. The only problem is, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I did hook the air up. I didn't I didn't release your brakes just yet. I was just trying to wait to see if they're building Dang Yeah, they must be unless that's staying work. I don't know you dumped it down there, right? Uh, I did dump uh, the primary so that would be the brake system, right? It's up to 100. Both of them are well, yeah I can see it. Turn the key forward real quick. The, the, yeah, it was, it's closing on 100. All of them are on 100? Yeah, pretty great at it. Okay. Uh, actually, one's above and the other was. Here, does it reset it all now? What's that? Did it reset it? Reset uh, the air, air position? No. No, they're, they're the still at the same? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That means it's holding. Good, good. As long as it rolls with that, doesn't get pinched, that should be a okay. Just double check, make sure my lights and stuff on the back are working. There you go guys, up and rolling, ready to roll. Thanks for watching.